Hello everyone! Uh, so, in this video, I'm going to do a little tutorial on how I use light painting in toy photography. So, light painting, and I'm going to do my best a way of explaining this, and anyone that's a real, like, actual photography slash camera expert, I'm really sorry if I just explain this in the worst way possible. So light painting is a way when you use your camera when your shutter speed is so slow that it's just doing this whole... So the camera is taking the photo and while the shutter is closing, it's picking up all this light the entire time instead of just like a quick one where it's like chick it. You know, it's taking all this time to pick everything in. So while it's closing, all the light that you're using during that shutter will show up in your photo. So if you will basically like take a, you know, a light and you just move it all around while it's closing, it'll capture every single little thing. So that's how you see pictures like people writing their names and stuff like that. Um, I've done it plenty of times uh, recently. I'll throw some photos up here. Uh, and sometimes you can make some really cool stuff, especially with toy photography, because uh, there's just a million different possibilities. Today, I'm going to try a lot of different ways we can add it in with toy photography. So, I'm going to just do some really basic things where you can just make a figure like really well lit and make it look really nice. Uh, I'm also going to try it with some fireworks. Um, the best part is I'm going to use this, these, which are just like... Um, Christmas lights. So I got a lot of really cool ideas and uh, I'll do my best to explain it and make it easy for you to go and try and I'll make sure I add my camera setting, all that too. So, um, yeah. But before we actually get into anything, uh, I usually save this for the end of the video. But according to my YouTube app, 62% of people who watch any video of mine isn't subscribed. I mean, which is cool. I mean, first of all, thanks for watching it in general. So, I mean, I can't really complain. But, you know, if you subscribe, you know, you can see everything I put up. I put a lot of toy photography videos up. Chill. But yeah, so it would mean a lot if you did that. And subscribe, you know, it helps me out a lot. And you get to see everything I put out. But anyway, yeah, that's it, thanks. Okay, so, I'm outside, doing this, at least in my experience, is best in the complete dark, and so, what's really cool about this is you don't need super great lighting, because the light painting you're going to do, you know, you're going to paint the light, you know, throughout your photo, so you're not going to necessarily need crazy lighting, or really any at all, you're going to produce it yourself, pretty much. So, the first thing I want to do is I got 3PO and R2-D2 down there so I'm basically just gonna take a super simple photo uh, I'm gonna pull the trigger and while the camera is taking the photo you know it's gonna take several seconds I'm gonna put it on like a 13 second shutter speed so during that 13 seconds I have as much time I need to take the light and move it around and make sure every little bit of the figure has been lit during that 13 seconds. And it might sound weird right now if you've never done this before. Um, but I'll show you, it's super easy. Okay, so we got our figs set up here. I have a very basic kind of light app on my phone right here to light things up. There we go. So my camera settings. It's just about all basic and um, default settings, except for my shutter speed. It's 30 seconds. So one other thing about light painting that's really important is any little shake of the camera is gonna completely ruin the photo. It's gonna make it super blurry. So what I have is on a tripod, and I have a timer. So once I turn it on, I'm not touching it until you know, I'm, the photo's done being taken. So there's nothing, like I'm not gonna have any effect on making it blurry. 
So it's really important to use the timer and the tripod for sure. So as you can tell, I have this light here right now, my loom cube. So I'm not actually gonna use that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep it here, keep the light here until I've focused the shot because I use an, uh, an autofocus. So I'm gonna keep it here just so I can focus on them. Then once the camera has started taking the photo, I'm gonna take it away. Whoop. So then this light doesn't affect our light painting. I'm only gonna use my phone light. So, here we go. Let's give it a try. Okay, here we go. Taking it away. Camera's taking the photo now. So I'm making sure every piece of the figure is getting some light. That should be good. So you're gonna hear the shutter in just a sec. And there it is. So let's uh, let's see how it came out. Awesome. So if you look at the photo here, um, it's totally well lit. So there's kind of a shine coming from every direction on C3PO. That's why I chose him because he's really shiny. And I thought that'd be perfect. So just because we moved the phone over you know every inch of him that whole time the camera was taking the photo very slowly it captured every little bit of light that was going through and reflecting off of C-3PO so it got every little bit of that so it lit the camera or it lit the photo perfectly so that's one good way just if you want to get a well lit photograph so that one was cool but kind of boring so let's start with some cool stuff now so I think the next photo I want to do is with the flash and I'm gonna use those Christmas lights so let's set this one up and see what we can do with that okay so got this next shot ready you can see over here we got the flash chilling and I'm gonna use these Christmas lights so you know how when you see you know the flash running he's got like blue lightning all around him so we're gonna try and make the blue Christmas lights look like that blue lighting or blue lightning. So we're gonna move it all around him while the shutter is going down, uh, and hopefully we're gonna make that cool blue effect. And at the same time, we're also gonna light the figure so that you can see him. I also got some water here. I don't know if this is gonna do anything. I'm gonna pour it on the ground uh, here to make it look a little bit more wet and reflective. See if that actually makes a difference on the pavement here. Uh, but we're gonna do the same exact thing we did in the last shot super slow, everything like that. And we're gonna see if we can get an awesome flash lightning running pick. So let's give it a try. Okay, so that flash one actually came out kind of cool. Um, actually kind of happy with that one. Um, so I'm gonna do it another time, just once more with the uh, the Christmas lights. But I got Gogeta over here. So we're gonna use another blue, some more blue lights to give him that cool blue aura because he's Super Saiyan Blue right now. And I'm also gonna see if I can change the colors of the lights mid shot and then give him another like a yellow color in his like Kamehameha blast he's got going on. So this is gonna be an experiment for me right now, changing the colors. So we'll see uh, what happens with this one. Same settings, same thing as before, but just switching up the figures and stuff. Let's see.
All right, so uh, that Gogeta one came out actually pretty awesome too. I'm done using the Christmas lights for tonight. So I've got a couple just really small fireworks. The next thing I'm going to use is this. So these are just firework fuses. So I bought these rolls just because I, I don't know, I had no idea what I would do with them, but they seemed handy. But I kind of found a great purpose for them. So when you light them, it just sparks like crazy. It's just a huge amount of sparks. So when you're using the same kind of light painting technique, um, the camera's going to pick up the sparks, every single little spark that's flying out, you know, during that whatever 30 or 15 second um, shutter speed. You know, it's picking up every single one of those uh, little sparks and it makes a really cool effect. So the next one we're going to do it with is we got Zed over here. And we're going to make some cool spark effects with him. So we're going to use the same kind of camera things we did in the last one, except this time I'm just going to light the fuse and then let it do its thing while the camera's doing its thing. So, this one's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to do this one. All right, here we go. Timer's going off, taking away the light. Camera's moving. Okay. <laughs> All right, so um, that was it. That's light painting. Um, so hopefully you guys um, took something from it. Hopefully you uh, learned something. Um, Go give it a try. You don't have to do it outside. You don't have to, you don't have to do it at all, really, the way I was doing it. You know, try and fiddle with your phone and just experiment with things until you figure out something that works for you. Um, I'm sure there's probably a better way I should be doing it. This is just how I kind of uh, figured it out on my own, really. Uh, I had fun. I hope you guys had fun too. So, all the pictures from today are gonna be posted on Instagram, uh, Twitter, and Facebook, like always, at SirDork730. Um, check me out on there. That's where all my full gallery is. If you want to like the video and subscribe it, that would be really cool. It means a lot to me and helps me a lot. Helps me out. Um, yeah, please do it. I have lots of plans for the future. Okay, awesome. Thank you guys. You guys are the best in the world. Um, I'll see you in the next one. See you around.